I beat the Cuppy Head DLC. Did you do everything in it? Did you 100% it? Um, I skipped the... I, I skip the um, challenge stuff. Because it was like, eh. I, I skipped the running gun too, because I'm like, ah, I don't know. I like the bosses. I might add a little bit more water. It looks a little dry. Add about a tablespoon or so. Did look relic too? Nice. Add a tablespoon of water in there, drizzle that. At a time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, running gun's fun. I'm like, meh, meh. I don't need coins. I have what I need. So I gotta go deliver Gary some food. Always oh, coming down the stairs. I don't have to. Yay! Thanks, Gary. Coming around just in time. Gary's like, motherfucker. I, w I want my, my breakfast. I made this before. Not this recipe. Um, not this recipe, but I've made a different version. Um, but yeah, I perused the internet because I want to learn how to make stuff. Um, but yeah, like I, I've never, I never made, made this recipe. Everything's different, so I'm like, okay, let's try. Um, but yeah, I, I mostly focus on new things that I can learn. Oh my god, no durian, please! Why would Jack no? No. I don't even think I could do that for the kids. As, as, as good of a, of a of notion it is. I, I don't want to... I don't want to... Eat durian. Oh god, that pizza... Alright, so Gary is... Continuing his... Pizza crime rampage. We, I, you know what? I, you, yo, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the kitchen. You're now part of a lobster squad. Snip a snap. Um, yeah, I love tips. I, I have been cooking on Twitch for like about, oh god, is it like six years now? It's a long time. I don't remember exactly. Um, vlogging. Hello, welcome. Don't put that in my coffee. There's coffee in there. Um, but I've made over 1,500 recipes. I have, I have at least put on my blog. Um, there is a couple duplicates because I, I, I accidentally forgot to, to look, and I'm like, oh, I already did this recipe. Fuck! Been time to type this up. Bend the baguette. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Um, Gary, I will fight you. Till the restaurant went, dude. I would not. I like. I would rather uh, own a restaurant than, than cook all day. Dang it. Um, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, I'm fight you, Gary. I I will. No. Ow! <laughs> Slap me in the face with a baguette. Um. But yeah, I mean, God. I don't think I would Baggage. like just cooking all day, I'll be honest. That is my job. It wouldn't be nearly as fun. And I could cook whatever I want. Um, I'm just saying. Best thing I've seen for 200, uh, 499 points. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. I try to find new stuff. Like I, I found a couple websites that kind of. Oh yeah, Gar Gary's hung. Give me your plate. Oh, that's a dirty ass plate. Let me get you a new plate. That plate is has got like three days of gunk on it. Jesus, you don't have to use the same plate every day. I uh, or you not welcome. Um. No, Gary. You deserve better. Um. I need to get a new pan. It's starting to stick. It's not my fault. It's just that, I mean, non-stick coating breaks down eventually. By the way, yeah, uh, just so you guys know, um, non-stick pans are great and all, but they do lose their stick. It doesn't matter if, like, they're non-stick stick things. Non -stick. Non -stick but I'm saying, 
I'm saying, I'm trying to say, even though you buy expensive pans that might be non-stick, I mean, they might have a good base on them, even heat and everything, but like, that non-stick only lasts so long. It just kind of, will eventually just go away. So, so what you're trying to say is that non-stick pans... Non-stick pans... Stick pans. Yeah, non-stick pans eventually become stick pans. Stick pans? Yep. Um, yeah, Joylin did it. He's like, I came in here, I was gonna do hat stack, but she already stacking. Heck, heck, man. All right, it looks combined, it's it's a little sticky, so a little bit of dry stuff. So I'm just gonna knead it in the, the bowl a little bit. Um, I'm gonna grab a little bit of flour. Just to kind of coat my fingers. Oh, no. Full regret. Rice everywhere. You don't regret this raid. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? What you been making today? I'll check out full regret. Would you like a clip? Since we're, it's it's a good time to do it. I know what I'm doing. It's basically hot pockets full of lamb and cheese and stuff. Cause it's delicious. I'm making it because it's delicious. Um. But we'll shout you out. Do, do, do. Do. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you want a clip, Joylin? I mean, I think he's always say that he didn't like it. We got Lobster Queen. Okay. Dutch bacon pancakes. I'll check out Full Regret. Making the foods. All right, let's, let's do this first. Also, yeah, we have a shout out Louie and, and Joinlin. Uh, uh, hopefully you got a clip. Thanks, Gary. All right, I think I typed that right. I'll cut the music. <laughs> well, that's, that's cute. Hey, there's a portal to uh, Dragon Shores. Bless you. That's real cute. <laughs> Perfect timing, Mom! <laughs> That's adorable. And we got full regret. Shout out. Over here, check them out too. Well, look at them. Oh, they got some uh, potatoes. Oh, yeah. Hey, Missile, welcome. What? Oh! Oh no, all the salt! Oh no! And it froze, the camera froze! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, that's pretty bad. Uh, check out Louie, also gotta, we gotta be careful. Fuck you, Comcast! I hate your fucking shit! Nice. Good 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 job, Comcast. And uh anybody else wanna shout out? Anybody? <laughs> anybody? Um I'll give you one. I'm just it's a good time to do it, cause my hands are gonna get real sticky. Uh yeah, Louie streamed! Yep. You didn't know Louie streams, you should check out his channel. You know Missile streams, I'm gonna just do a clip anyway, even though he says no. I'm gonna go do that. Um, uh, you know, here we got Missile. Um, everybody, Kuma what? has the same clip. I don't know what's happening. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. I don't, what? fuck. I don't know. Um. We got heckin' coma. I swear to God, if it's the same clip again, I'm gonna lose my mind. Let's be honest. I, I, I'm thinking it's probably gonna be the thing. If it's you chopping wood, I'm gonna freaking ah! No! Come on! Why does it have to be this clip every goddamn time? Get some more clips. 
Somebody clip that because I did the exact hand movement says the play guy of the game. Jade's still welcome. You guys want to see cat cute cat clips? It's probably a cat. Um It's probably a cat. Look at that. Isn't that cute? He's leaping. He's leaping. He's a good cat. He's cute as heck. Sleepy little baby. What's on the bottom of this? Um. Yo. Now that's kind of cute. Gary Gary says that he wants to buy a super soaker. And uh Is this a bad idea or a bad idea? Channel point ding. Uh, anyway, um also who, who else? Uh Samron? What's wrong with that? Oh no, no. Uh Colleen, do you do you want a clip? Um, I'll do it. Let's see what bad clip we got. It's pretty warm in here. You can get cold off by I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna no. You just have to have really good aim and don't hit me in the mic, and fry my mic and electrocute myself. How about that? We shouldn't do that. Gary sounds like an amazing man. He's right here. This is Gary throwing chickens at me. Um. At the ceiling, proxy. Seems like you're at a slow pace. Are you ready? Mm, it's coming. Out, running. Dilly. It's coming attack us. I think they've launched Dilly, the it's coming. Huh? Chasing cavalry. That's not very smart. What is going on? Good start by Mesa Regulars there. Dilly, it's coming. Okay, there's Greg. He's bringing in. It's coming. All kinds oh, of horrible You almost got in my cup. By the way, it picks uh, from the top 100, uh, top 100 clips uh, on your channel. Gary's going to stream. Picture Deuce's ass get banned, and they clip it. Oh my! <laughs> oh my God! Oh no! That's a great idea. What, like, all you non streamers out there, you can stream one time, make a clip, and every single time, every single time, Gary's like, I'm a host, and I don't, I mean, and then it's just gonna be that clip of Deuce's ass on my stream. Great idea, Gary. Great idea. I think the Super Soaker will show boobs. You gotta be careful about that, which I appreciate. It is true. I mean, you can't really see him, but I don't know what'll happen if a super, super soaker in my shirt in uh, combination. Probably not a good idea. Why don't you just use it on the cat? No, don't do that. That'll probably actually get you banned. Um, that'll actually get you banned. And murdered in your sleep. Haku was just gonna park his ass on your face and smother you to death. <laughs> also, I have a, a lobster queen. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Um, please hold. Let's go over here to uh, the panic screen. We gotta take uh, care of this real quick.
welcome back to the Till Day Stream Stream. We are here in the lap of the queen. Cook with this on. We're making an attempt to. Maybe I should like button up all the way. Maybe just leave it open a little bit. It's warm in here. It's fine. Over here, big cam. Big cam. Oh, we got a chicken. Chicken squeeze him. Just to get the scale of this chicken. Yes. Um, but blurry. But we're gonna continue cooking. We're we're making the dough, by the way. We gotta roll up our claws here and get to work. Are you winning yet, son? Hey, Astro. Welcome to the stream. We got the dough. We just gotta have to uh, knead it for a little bit. I'm knead it in the bowl first because it's a little sticky. Kind of get the bare minimum, just a little bit of flour on your hands. It's got yogurt, salt, water, and flour, all purpose flour. It's really, it's really simple. I, I beat Cuphead though, Astro. I'm proud of me. I finally did it. I could be like a cool people. Uh, all these big. Big boy streamers that beat Cuphead, I finally beat it. I did it. I beat it. I didn't beat the DLC. And and Louis missed it. He was like, God damn it, I can't like by proxy beat um, you know, Cuphead DLC without even having it. Um, too bad. It's fine. So we're gonna need this until smooth. Now I used instead of uh, Greek yogurt, I used um whole milk yogurt. I don't think it'll make a big difference. Uh, but maybe maybe a little bit. Yeah, it's a little sticky. It's for, mostly from the yogurt. Uh, it makes it a little sticky. It's all good. Yeah, we're just gonna need it for a couple minutes. We might add a little bit more flour. Just gonna try to minimize the stickiness. A little bit, very light coating, and it's gonna be pretty, pretty, pretty tasty. I love me some. Uh, honestly, flatbread's pretty great. Yeah, I like to minimize the amount of stickiness on my counter. I try to get the. Uh, I got a hat stack from Jolin. Okay. Very sticky. Hmm. Chicken. Chicken seems good. Perfect. Here we go. Alright, so anyway. Get back to this dough. gonna be a little sticky at first. We're, we don't really need to like knead it a lot. I'm just gonna knead it till it's smooth. I say three minutes so really really not long. Like it's almost there actually and it should be stretchable. It shouldn't like just instantly break. You're not gonna really develop gluten very much in like three minutes. Um, not very much at least. It's a small amount though. Not, not a ton. Stick to my hand so much. I'm gonna get out my bench scraper. Kind of scrape this up a little bit. And we probably can knead that into the dough real quick. Um, it's no big deal. But once it's like no longer just sticky and actually looks like a ball, we're good. It's getting tougher to knead slowly as we go. Yeah, I wonder if uh, the consistency of the dough ends up a little bit more soft because of the the uh, whole milk yogurt. I'm not sure. I got Jade Stone with a hat stack. All right, we'll do this in a second. I need to clean my hands a little bit. A 
look into the eyes and I recommend it. Well, everyone's having a good day. Or at least a, 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 a okay-ish day is good enough. You don't always, like, honestly, it's not, it's not very uh, practical to have a great day every day. You gotta have, like, you know, all right days mixed in there, too. Yeah, it gets easier as you go. It doesn't stick as much. It's sticking a little bit, but you see like the dough is like pulling around a little bit. It's get, it's developing gluten. It's not going to develop a lot of gluten. Um, you see it kind of springs back a little bit. I think it's close. It's not quite. But it should become a, a smooth ball. It's like sticking still. It's all good. No longer, one, once it's like, I, I believe, in theory, once the, uh, the dough stops sticking to my hands and the counter, it's probably good. Though it looked a little, st honestly, the pictures that I looked at look a little sticky to begin with too, and they don't look like exactly smooth. So I generally, I don't trust most recipes that I get, and I do have to use a little bit of my judgment, because um, you never know how, <coughs> how much they fudge it. Remember that one recipe? Oh god, I remember the, the one recipe, they had a video to go with the recipe, they had a written recipe, and the video recipe, and they didn't match! At all, uh, actually. Their measurements were completely different, and I, apparently, I followed the, uh, written recipe that was, uh, the incorrect one. Though, the actual video, I believe, would have worked 100%. Um, but that's, that's the, the fun of uh, trying out random recipes on the internet. You find some good ones, you find some not so good ones, that's for sure. That's for sure, I'd say that. Um, <laughs> I've had some, some really hot messes. Uh, it's now Halloween. Hey, Dust Pirate, welcome. We got a lobster queen situation. Hope you're doing all right. All right, that actually looks pretty smooth. It's not like perfect. It's, it's like getting there. Alright. Springs back a little. Uh, we're not like making bread. Okay, it's, it's not like a, a bread bread. Mm, but yeah, I think, I think we're at the, the maximum thing. Let me, let me see what happens when we try to stretch it a little bit. I mean, there's some some in there. And we skip, we skipped August and September. Um, by the way, coming up uh, in September, we're gonna have a vacation going on. So, uh, I'll let you guys know um, whenever this comes up. Vacation time from the 6th of September through the, uh, I, I believe we come back on the 18th is the Monday after, I, I, there is no way. We're taking a red eye back and like, I'm coming home at like, I don't know. I'm gonna be sleeping on the plane and, and should be arriving at like 10 a.m. I really don't think uh, I'll be streaming that day. Unless, I mean, unless somebody's like really, <laughs> really wants me to stream or there's something really that I need to do or maybe I'll just check in with you guys and say, hey guys, let's play some games, play some Rocket League. Um, I won't have anything in the, I'll, my cats are gonna be pissed. I have to pick up my cats. Um, yeah, that looks good. It looks better, more smooth. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm not gonna plan on it, but maybe I'll do like a surprise. Um, Cause yeah, it's gonna be a little, a little something. Um, a little something. All right. Um, but 
idea. I don't know. I don't think it's a good idea. We'll see. So we're gonna take this dough. It looks smooth enough that we want. We're gonna let this hydrate fully in the dough and let it sit. And we're gonna make the filling for the gazmi. Um, we got lamb. We got spices. We got spinach. Feta. I'm sorry. I I actually like winter. I'll be honest. Uh, but I prefer like my favorite season. I I think I want to say spring. Like comfy temperatures. Um. I just don't like being cold, though over here you don't have to worry as much as being cold. Most of the year, like there's like a part in like January, mid-January that's uh, pretty chilly. But otherwise, uh, it's not so bad most of the time. Alright, oh yeah. Alright, so we're gonna... I bet it'll sit a little bit up a board or anything. I think it'll be okay. It won't be too... too bad. Um. So we're gonna put this, we're gonna put some plastic wrap, or, or actually we could take a damp towel and put it up top and uh, we'll let this sit while we make the filling. We, we don't, they didn't say we actually need to rest this much, so I trust them, question mark, but I also don't. I also don't. I kind of feel like resting it wouldn't be a bad thing because we're gonna have to roll this out. It's about like a 12 by 10 rectangles, so like, uh, yeah. All right, let's put that over. We'll put this to the side. And we're gonna clean this counter. Uh, also, this would be a good time to take that two o'clock break because we're gonna have a lot of stuff to do after this. This is a good downtime. We'll just clean up the counter. Clean up this counter. We're gonna cook the lamb um, and season it. Onions, garlic, you know. Delicious. Bipolar disorder is a fight between winter and summer camps. Hey, Ice Bonnie, welcome. welcome back. Um, yeah, over here people don't know how to drive in the rain. That's a that's a thing. People can't handle a little bit of rain. You gotta put on your blinkers. You go like half the speed limit. Apparently, it's really scary. But that's always fun. Dude, it's, it's always bad. Like, we always get stuck behind people that are like, yo, you're not gonna hydroplane at 20 miles an hour, kid. If you go straight and you don't do anything crazy, you'll be fine. Like, Jesus. My God. Yeah, driving in the snow and ice is scary. I now nah, I'm good. But um you know. Especially if you if you live in an area that doesn't really get a lot of snow all the time, you don't have much practice, you know, I can imagine that's it's just not a good time. Oh, so I'm gonna take yeah, five minute break because this is a convenient part to, to stop at. Uh, take five minutes to stretch, move around, uh, clean up the kitchen if I need to. Um, we're gonna start making the lamb mixture afterwards. Uh, we missed it. We made the dough. It's all ready to go. Uh, make your breakfast. Um, but let's go over here to the intermission screen. Uh, I don't need to poop, but we'll be back in a moment. Enjoy these clips for five minutes, and so we'll be back. A short bit. Should be good. Lamb is delicious, by the way. I love it. But enjoy. Oh, there's a freaking thingy up there. Hold up. Hold on. I can't see. I just look at the upper hand. Ah! Wee! <laughs> you must listen.
knew that we played Spelunky. What? What? Can we get up? Can we not do this? What are we doing? What the heck is that? Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on, stairs. Hold on. Before we continue. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Let me spam you. Boah, boah, boah. There we go. Two thirds a cup. Are burgers just beef cookies? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could bake burgers. All right, so we got three minutes and overwhelmingly no. Everybody says, please no, Chili. Can you uninstall this game? I will on stream. Here we go. I'm getting all the good skins. I know, right? Um. Uh. Uninstall. Yes. Air, you're not connected to any server. Right, okay, we got really close. Don't get too close. And we're gonna kick his ass. I understand. Kick it. No. Kick it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my. <laughs> you did that pigeon so hard. Oh my god. <laughs> the burn armor. <laughs> You gotta slurp it. You gotta, you gotta do the full blown like the death stranding and be like, oh yeah, <laughs> and just like, and just do this. Crush it with you. <laughs> Caesar, look at him. He seems to be having some medical condition. Oh no, what is going on, sir? Are you all right? <laughs> so the, the, that's the reset button. That's the reset button! You fucked up, Deli. Gary? You calm your 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 butt here, sir. This is fine. Fucked up, Dilly. It's it's fine, Gary. It's fine, Gary. I was getting a little salty. I I I felt that for that guy. It's like I'll give you like five bucks if you beat that first try. I'm like I can't. Sorry, sorry guys. Oh my god, there's just a whole bunch of shit everywhere. Let me take you. All. No thanks. I like it, but. You make a mess. Whoa! Holy shit, Gary! Holy fucking shit! I saw that coming towards my head and I'm fucking ducked! <laughs> Fully heard it. Yes! Oh, right through the neck! Oh my god, that recipe? Dude, that was so much work to do. I was rolling that dough out for so long. Uh, also, welcome back to Teladay Streamy Stream. Uh, we're playing uh, this good old cooking mama. We're making delicious, uh, you know, gosme Diner. Oh my god. Uh, di dinner. Yeah, that thing. Uh, Turkish gosme with the lamb. Feta. We got little tomatoes, spices, garlic, onions, delicious. Let's go over here to the counter cam. Let's go in the kitchen. Um, yeah, we're getting together that little part. We gotta get out the onion. We already have the garlic. 
Um, it's gonna be pretty straightforward. We're gonna saute the onion and garlic together, cook that down until nice and, and softened. And then we're going to add the um, lamb. We only need a half package. I'm gonna freeze the rest. Um, season with, with the ground coriander, pepper, cumin, salt, pepper. Uh, we need to chop up some spinach, about three quarter pound of spinach. And we got mint, green onions, parsley, feta, and tomato. We're gonna mix in at the end. We're not actually gonna cook that in the sauce, I believe, if I remember right. So we got one onion. Um, we're also, let me let me scrub the heck out of this. I don't wanna have all this, this sticky, sticky dough on my counter. Thank you. So I put together the dishes. Yeah, this is really straightforward. Once we make the filling, we'll uh, get the, the, the actual uh, salad ready because I'm like, you know, I'm gonna have some downtime. I have to wait for that to cool and not instantly like make the dough really soggy and wet. So, you know, pretty straightforward. Also later today, we're gonna be starting a brand new world premiere game uh, series of the uh, the quarry, hopefully that's good. Hopefully. I hope. Um, I got it on sale, so I don't feel too bad if I don't like it. Also, oh my god, I need to, does anybody know the name of that game that people have been playing a little bit lately that you have like a, oh, uh, like a uh, trombone? It's like a trombone meme game and you play music with the trombone. And it's horrible, and it, but it's good in a way. There's like card collection thing. It's all just memes and stuff. Um, I, I don't know. It looks pretty good. It was like something tromboner. Um, it looked like a good time. I might get it. I saw a couple people playing it. I have not seen this game. Hey, hey, bear. I didn't need to find it. I, I, I don't remember what it's called. The name of it. And I've seen lots of- it looks great. They have like a collectible card game. I remember like watching, um, what was it? My brain. So key should play it. Look, look like a good time. Um, so we need about one, one onion. And I don't know, three cloves of garlic. Let's do that. Feels good. And we'll take this onion, we're gonna slice it up. Trombone champ! Oh yeah! That's the game. I might get that. It looks pretty great, actually. Um, yo Bear, can you do some, some research, some, some uh, reconnaissance mission of, uh, should I or should I not play that game? It looks good. I don't know. Yeah, everybody's playing Mortuary Assistant. Is it good? Okay, I'm on it. Okay. Thank you, Bear. Um, I don't know. I don't get spooked from games. It looks just like... It looks good. I mean, it looks good to me. It looks like it could be fun. Um, remember that tromboner situation. We don't have to really finally dice this bad boy up. This is not out yet. Maybe they're playing a demo. Maybe it's a demo or or something. Hmm. Does it have a demo? I saw people playing it. There's a free demo. Hey there. Uh, request access to the playtest. Oh, I will. I will. If we can stream it, I will do it. It looks good. I will check it out. All right, so we have the onion ready. We're gonna throw this uh, garlic through the garlic press. Oh god. Oh god. Why 
Why is it so powerful? All right, um, that's together. We're gonna get this over here. Uh, I'm gonna use my cast iron. Let's see, is that? I didn't use it. Well, as an open play test this week, F the quarry, we tromboning. Um, can we do it? Should I, can I log into my, my Steam and, and request access like right now? Um, hi. Hi. Um, it looks fun. I wonder how, how, how uh, the quarry will go over with chat and me. That's what I wonder. I heard also, is, is there an... Eyeballs cry because they're onions and then seeing them kind of getting crushed, chopped, sliced, diced, and cooked. It could be. Oh god. <sighs> Team B, thank you for that host. Welcome. Mel, thank you for that host too. You're at the same time. Um. I'll check out Mel, and we can do a little shouty out for uh, Tim. All right, check out Mel. Test, test. Timmy TV. Uh, hey, Invictus, welcome. I'm pause this music real quick and shoot a nice little clippy clip. Timmy. Hey, got one. <laughs> they're they're pissed now. Get up here. Oh no! no oh, oh, they shit. broke the ladder! <laughs> I love that clip. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> There's a good oh, clip. I just see a bunch of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, no. stay dead. You dead? Deuce dead too. All right. So, let me just go get a paper towel or something. My eyeballs. I didn't think about the bastards breaking the ladder. I know you didn't. That's what your first mistake was. Whew. I'd like to see you again. Yeah, um, Orna got us uh, with the good old, good old lobster queen. Nobody's used this in a hot minute. Um, I'm actually surprised. It's, it's been a while. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna cook, saute the onion, and then we'll add the garlic later. I don't like to mix them together, honestly. I like to cook them separate. Um, <laughs> how you doing, Loey? Oh god, I'm, oh, dude, I'm starving. I mean, this would be a good time to do a nice little, uh, you know, something, something, snack time, something. You know what I mean? Oh god. You don't, I'll do. Um, I'll do. Get over here to the stove top. Oh, Timmy got my back. I had a bunch of bun errands. But we hit, get hit with... Oh, God, you getting a heat wave tomorrow? Oh, let me look at my weather. My weather. Expect thunderstorms in two days, lovely. Wonderful. So, yeah, tomorrow's going to be about 95. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be uh, the big boy day. We're gonna spin that wheel. Get this over here. Load this bad boy up and boop. Boop. All right, so we gotta have, uh, we got Light, light P, Ramun, uh, Dakichi, uh, Super Cola, Yo-Yo D, Mogo Mogo, Pina Colada flavored drink, uh, Pico Great Gummies, and Chili Gooseberry, beware of seed. Gooseberry Chili flavor, beware of seed. Let's try it out. 
over here to the chat cam. Let's see, beware of C. I heard these are really sour. Um, sweet star gooseberry chili flavor. Me with gooseberry, chili, sugar, salt, coloring. Pretty straightforward. I've never had a gooseberry before. Um, also called, I don't know how to pronounce Thai stuff. Um, or that's Vietnamese, is it? Vietnamese, all right. Mucham Rut K? I don't know, man. I probably said something naughty. I have no idea how to do Vietnamese pronunciation. You got me. It's got too many accent marks. I don't know what it is. Um, it's very complicated. Always be mindful of your seed. Also be careful, like, dude, this is, how do we open this container? How do we open this container? All right, let's go back to the stove. I gotta figure out how to open the container first. Um, I don't like all this heat stuff too, understandable. This, this container is so rich. It's got like a plastic round, double wrapped. Alright. I'm gonna get in this container one day, way or another. Alright, so this is plenty hot. We're gonna add the onion. Alright. Secure packaging. That's for sure. I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, we got it. Okay. We have fully moved the packaging. Now, how do we get the plastic off the top? Come on, come on, dude. This is so hard. It's fucking like puzzle. We get this open very carefully, like the. Oh. I'm about to break this package. Cause like I can't get my nails under the uh, plastic here. Even how the hell? Give that a soft tape so it's nice and translucent and turning slate slate a brown. God damn! How? Is there another? Oh, there's another seal. That's why there's another. It's double plastic wrap. Jesus. Oh no, that's why it's so fucking hard. Okay, all right, we found the second seal. So this is star gooseberries. Oh, oh, it smells like, oh, hold on. Let me isolate this smell. Kind of smells like, uh... dates? Is that, is that the lobster queen? Yes, it is. What? Um, yeah, why don't you do the, the, the lobster queen yet? Hey, hey, Loker, it's not a fever dream. I'm real. All right, so we have the star, for, star gooseberry. Um, I'm real. I'm real lobster. Look at me. We're fine, we have claws, we got a tail in the back. Again, antennas. I'm real lobster queen, it's me. Hello. All right, so I'm gonna try this out. See how it is. Um, I don't know. Can't be like that bad, right? Just like 
sour. It, it's got a seed in it. I don't know how I eat it if there's a seed in it. Mmm. Actually, pretty tasty. Spicy, sour, uh, hmm. Yeah, definitely a seed. I found it. There's not much on that. Are you have a Maine lobster or a San Diego lobster? I don't know. Actually, I haven't determined this yet. I mean, Maine water is pretty cold, right? I, I mean, I'd, I'd probably be like a San Diego lobster. Or San Francisco lobster, because I don't want to be cold. I can't handle it. Though it's in the water off the Pacific, kind of really cold, too. Is there really any win? Is there any winning in this situation? Alright, add the uh, garlic. And saute that till nice and fragrant. And then we're going to add the, the meat. We're going to use half this package, or just use a half a package. Um, we'll freeze the rest. Uh, we got ground lamb. Yeah, I mean that's actually pretty okay. That that uh stir. Uh, I, I don't think I could really eat that right now because I got I gotta handle all this meat and stuff. Um, hmm. so we got ground ground lamb. We're gonna break it up. We got the meats. I don't know if you had ground lamb, it's quite stinky. When I say ground lamb, you can smell the, the, the barn in it. You can definitely smell that barn. Uh -huh. I went to work today. Was that one steak? It's too hot, can't handle it. Go home. Can you just work from home though? I mean, is it, is it fine? It's about half the package. Break this bad boy up. Oh, it's got meat juices. All right, then we'll just uh, separate this. We're gonna break this up into small little pitties. You can smell the barn. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. It seems like always uh, ground lamb is one of those things that it's it's a little. Uh, you can you can smell it a little bit more than fresh lamb. Tends to be like that. It's been seven hours on the walk to the office back from the car. I got a headache. Well, that sucks. All right, so I'm gonna just uh, break up lamby bits, tiny little chunkies. Break it up. It's very soft. Get up at the time of chokies. Mix it up with the onion. And we're cooking this until brown on both sides. Right. Looks good. Flatten this out. Nice surface area. I'm gonna freeze the rest of this uh, ground lamb just so we don't have any problems. I don't want it to go bad. How do you guys? Uh, I've, I've seen a lot of streamers. I've seen Rod is like, I don't want to play Mortuary Assisted Sim because everybody else is playing it. I don't know. Is it a good game? Is it? Is it lame? I don't get scared. Like, just keep that in mind. Is it? Is it enjoyable to play? Number one. Um, oh yeah. I just want to have that. I just, I don't know. I'm not sold on it. Kind of looks like a YouTube bait game. That PewDiePie would play. Because he's screaming. 
Um, uh, mortuary assistant, Sim? I saw a lot of people playing it. It's got a little bit more time. It's kind of like a simplistic house flipper, but with horses. Ooh. I mean, it's fun. That, that's the most important thing, right? All right, so we have the meat with the garlic and the onion. We're gonna have tomato paste, coriander, paprika, cumin, salt, and pepper. We get all those things out first. They're all ground by the spices. More flavor it as we want. There you go. Take some smoke, paprika. Mm -hmm. That's good shit. Yeah. Spot little signs and guess where the demon is in order to beat it. That sounds like fun. Yeah, typically daylight be that. That I don't know. It's just kind of the it comes with the territory of that game. It feels like um, people be toxic AF. I don't know. I don't really like the game because of that. To be honest, I don't play it because I'm like I know how it is. I don't want to subject me to do it. Uh, I used to play Dota all the time. I'm like, I know that. It's it's probably worse, but, you know. I'm good. So we're gonna add... Oh yeah, I gotta get the uh, tomato paste. Uh, we're gonna add coriander, paprika, both one teaspoon each, and two teaspoons of cumin. We'll add it now, because it's nice and brown. We don't want to overcook it. <laughs> one teaspoon each. Uh, coriander and the paprika. The smoked paprika, the good shit. I like the smoked paprika. Um, just make sure to not burn it. We got cumin. We got two teaspoons of cumin. don't like cumin. I guess this isn't for you. Um, and let me get the tomato paste. Quick. Oh, we got it. Uh, let's see where it is. It's here. Alright. Add a tablespoon of tomato paste. This is double concentrate, though. Yo, Cleve, thank you for the host. We are just talking about Dead by Daylight and how kind of toxic it is. How do you deal with it? How do you deal with that? Because I used to play Dota and I don't understand some toxic gamers, game, gamer words and stuff. It's not good. It's not, it's not good. All right, add a little bit more. Give this a stir. Whew. Modding the bejesus out of RimWorld? Yeah, there's a lot of mods. It's good. I like, I like RimWorld. Um, I think chat was gonna get was getting a little uh, burnt out, and me too, to be honest. Um, I I'm gonna wait till that RimWorld modder makes uh, that that uh, extension, so that uh, you know I can have it a little easier for you guys. You don't have to necessarily, um, uh, not necessarily uh have to chat, like, do chat commands. Which I think would be kind of nice. Um, they said that they're working on it. It'd be like, kind of like, a uh, crowd control. It'd be easier that way. A little bit of salt. More pepper than salt. And give this a stir. Get this nice and coated and the sauce. Spices and stuff. Good. I'm gonna turn that off. Um. Oh, I gotta get this uh, spinach ready. 
We're gonna cook the spinach, but we're not going to be uh, cooking anything else. Yeah, overlay for Twitch integration. It should be great. Uh, it'd be pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, they said they're working on it. I'll test it whenever they get it out. Yeah, also, uh, if you guys did crowd control, I have to contact the dev. Uh, yeah, I've got confirmation from most people in the chat that if you d redeemed um, channel currency for uh, for coins, that nobody had got it. Um, so, yeah, I got the receipts, as I like to say, of w what people did. And I'm like, yeah, they, they actually didn't get any other coins. You refunded me the other day? Hmm. Yeah, Gary said that he lost all his channel points and he didn't get um any of the coins that they uh, he used. So I don't know. You got me, man. All right, so we need a three-quarter. I redeemed and I said sent to you tutorial two seconds too late as you beat the game and refunded my coins. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, they have some built-in stuff. If I end it, it, rede it, it uh, gives back anything that you guys um, didn't get to actually fully use. So yeah, it's, it's got built-in stuff like that. They're actually trying to, to make it really fair. Um, all right, so we're gonna get a three-quarter pound of spinach. Uh, we'll we'll uh, set that out and then we'll chop it up real rough like and uh, cook that down with the delicious uh, lamb. It smells really good. I have to taste it in a little bit. I don't want to overdo it on the spices or anything until we know we're good. Because we, we haven't had spinach yet. I don't know how it's going to taste together. So let's turn on this and get it over here. These buttons, these buttons are, are my Steam Stream Deck is dying. All the buttons are falling off. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna use up the left of our spinach, give it a rinse. But first, we're gonna measure out about. It's about. That does not bode well. What? For what? Uh, so. But, oh, the Steam Deck, yeah. Not, not the stream, the Steam Deck, the stream deck. The stream deck, aka the buttons on the thing. All of the buttons are falling off. No, 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 not that. It's fine. My, my Steam Deck, they actually updated and fixed a lot of the bugs I've been having, which is pretty sweet. All right. Oh god, we need more. More! We like 12 ounces. This is close enough. It's okay. It's all right. No, no, no. My Steam Deck is not not done. It's, it's doing fine. Uh, they updated it. They had some patches. I had they corrupt. They, they fixed the corrupted sound from uh, sleep when you play a, um, a game that was was kind of like broke in the background. Um, They, they fix some um, when you have a dock and you attach it to a dock and you, you remove it from sleep and pull it off the dock it would not turn on the screen all the time they fix that um, some weird bugs that I've had with controller support too I think they updated the new um, god what was it called What's that thing that... 
Um, Proton, they updated Proton, I think, so that they patched some of the compatibility issues with controllers, I think, too. Sweet. That's good for me, because, man, there were so many things, there were so many problems. There, there were little minor things, but they're annoying enough that I had to, like, really dig. Apparently not pe many people got that uh, controller bug. It's only a couple games that do it, but... Some people said it was fine using the controller with Binding of Isaac, and I, I is not fun. Mine is not fun at all. Um, yeah, I'm a little rough on controllers. You remember? I showed you my controller. Remember this? Uh, remember this? Remember this guy? Hold on, let me unplug this real quick. Yeah, this guy over here, this controller. I'm, I, I play a lot of like, you know, really intense controller-based games, and the. Uh, yeah, we like melted off the the rubber off the controller nubs, and all the buttons don't have any uh, icons on them anymore. They're gone. They're gone. I, I actually burnished this controller. It's it's perfectly smooth now. Pretty sweet. Uh, I broke this the right trigger. It's fell off twice. I fixed it. A little bit of a little bit a little bit of that gorilla glue. Good as new. Works fine now. You just gotta you gotta put it on the right point, so <laughs> you can't fuck that up. Um but yeah, it's it's fine. Yeah, it doesn't detect controllers correctly because um you can actually emulate a controller mode, like like a keyboard and mouse thing. And it detects it as a keyboard and mouse. But yeah, it's an emulation thing with uh, I can't show on stream. What? The guts are hanging out? Oh no. I, 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 I've been, like, I've had this for at least five or six years. I've, I've been taking good care of it. But yeah, it's gone, man. It's, I mean, it works good. It, like, I do know it has some drift. It doesn't really center, like, if you do that, it's not really, it, it's different every time. It, it doesn't center itself. But, like, whatever. I don't usually have to flick my my uh, sticks very often. It's all right, like for, for the stuff I do. Um, but yeah, like uh, Gary's new, Gary Gary should link the controller to you, Tim. The, the controller he has is actually really, it's got zero drift. It's, it, it centers, it uses the, like the, you remember the PS3 controllers? Um, it uses the mechanical sticks that go center. They have zero drift issues. Oh, sweet! Yeah, that controller is really good. The uh, let's say this PS5 controller managed to survive my Rocket League play thus far. Nice. Uh, the PS5 controllers drift too, like everything else. Um, but yeah, uh, that uh, controller that Gary has, it can emulate being a. Uh, Switch Pro controller, it can emulate being a Xbox controller. Um, it's kind of cool, actually. Um, it works pretty well. And, and it feels comfy that this, the buttons I think need to be worn in a bit. They stick a little bit. Like I feel like there's some like bounce back. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't affect the like, the, uh, the buttons when you press down. Um, but the, Coming back, it feels a little like, if you had to tap uh, a button really fast, it, it probably wouldn't gr work great. Uh, uh, this is my Wolverine, not the version two. We got the original tournament edition. And this one's fine. Like, I, I don't have any problems. It's not a pile, mine isn't a pile of shit. Maybe I got the one, the one in a million that that's actually a decent controller. Maybe. Maybe it's fine. Maybe you got lucky. Cause Tim's Tim's had such bad luck with like air controllers. I mean you you play a lot of Rocket League, so so maybe uh you know. Maybe if Rocket League does something to the controllers. Um You guys talk about Dead by Daylight? There's a real game. 
Hooked on You, a Dead by Daylight dating sim? Oh, shit. What it is. Um, well, that's cute. Oh, yeah, what was that other game's name? I, I need to check it out. Trombone Champ. Um, and get that too. I need to play that game. It's not out yet, but apparently has a early beta thing. Get wish list. Oh yeah. Log in. All right. Where's my code? Hold on. My first Wolverine lasted like a week before the left bumper broke. Like, I dropped my controller, and that's on me. I broke my R2. I, I, I dropped it on the wood floor, and it fucked up. And, um... That's on me. But, uh... I'm requesting access. I got access granted! They did it! I can get in the playlist! Oh yeah, buddy. Oh shit, I'm on! I could play... I could play Trombone Champ now! Butter Dab and Butter Dab. Um, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to play it. We'll, we'll play a little bit of it today, maybe. Um, hmm. Alright, so my spinach is kinda leaking a little bit on the counter. Yeah, I'll have to try that out. The, the game looks fun. Uh, I'm a real tromponer now! Uh, yeah, it's it's like, uh, you know like uh, those games that you click and you drag your mouse around to play like music? It's You play a trombone. Um, and it's like Guitar Hero, but not- It's like Gets a Room Man, but with a trombone. Hmm. I was really good at Gets a Room Man. I got really good. I played on hard mode. That shit's crazy. It's super hard. Alright, so... I'm gonna take the spinach that we have uh, rinsed. We're gonna dry them off a bit. I'm gonna dry them off a little bit. That has 20 tracks, which include anthems, marches, classical pieces, electronica, folk classics, and more. Also continue, uh, includes tracks from exciting guest artists. Each track comes with a unique animated background that moves with the music. Uh, you can use your toots you earn from playing songs to purchase stacks of tromboner cards. Um, yeah, I do have one of those spinny things. I have too much, too much spinach. Um, these cards can be used to unlock new tromboners, new trombone colors, and other mysteries. Play with the controller, but mouse is recommended to move your arm forward and back like a trombone. The pitch and note will slide up and down to match. Uh, click to use the keyboard to blow. Sounding trombone makes are completely controlled by you. The closer your music track, the more points you earn, but you have the freedom to play anything you want at any time. Um, nearly every screen in the game, beginning of the main menu, features one or more baboons. You want believe how many baboons there are in this game if you discover the secrets of the trombone verse the purpose may become clear only a true trombone champ will uncover their full meaning oh my god this game is fantastic it's trombone in time boys <laughs> oh shit bear is hype for this bear is hype um it says the release date is early 2021. I, I think Tron Boniverse. Um, yeah, look at all this spinach. We got a lot of spinach, buddy. Um, guys, do you think I should play that first? <laughs> Excellent. Um, all right, buy my copy. Here we go. I can't start tromboning until after seven. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll, you're gonna play that Dead by Daylight dating sim? It should be fun. Um, maybe we'll do a I mean, I always thought, like, maybe I should do, like, the last hour, because it always seems like everybody's outy at seven. We could play, like, some, like, Fall Guys or something. Do, do other things that are, like, easy, one and done. 
I'm gonna have to go to work for a few hours. Come around seven. Oh shit. Okay. If I play it, it'll be after seven. Get a little choppy choppy. This is the three quarter pound. It's gonna cook down to nothing. I wanna see top tier tromboning. I haven't practiced yet. Wow. Dude, it'd be hilarious. Um, you guys know fun facts? Like, imagine if I got like a trombone played on the stream. That'd be horrible. That would be horrible. I don't know. What would be my in instrument in, in band chat? What would be my band instrument? Merchant band. What would we be? I think I'd probably be the tuba, but that that's just me. Um, maybe not a trombone. Play the trumpet for two weeks. I think Gary. Um, I think Gary played the saxophone, if I remember right. All right, chapa chapa is almost done. We don't have to remove the stems. It's it's not like a the the, the adult um, spinach. I was, I keep saying this, I, I, this weekend, last weekend has been a wash and, and we were just fucking around with microwaves and stuff, but I really want to get back to playing, um, playing some Rocksmith again. Like, dude, I was so busy last weekend, I didn't get anything done that they wanted to do. Alright, this is chopped up enough, I got small little pieces, there's some big ones, but I cooked down to like nothing. My school, you had to either do art or band and try band and get signed to the trumpet when I do drums stuck to it two weeks and be like, fuck that, I'm drowned. Do you draw good, bear? Do you draw, draw good? Um. That was okay. So this is the meat that we made is all ready to go with the onions, garlic, spices. We're gonna add the spinach in. With a little bit of water. Um, <laughs> or maybe not. We're gonna add this, all the spinach. Maybe. Cook this until it's starting to cook down. Yeah, they didn't make us do. I, I had a chorus class, like chorus uh, stuff on. Um, yeah, during. Um, Fourth grade. Um, I tried to do like tennis in school, but like my parents didn't want to like take me down to, to it, so it was like, well, guess I'm not doing tennis practice. Um, it's fine. Yeah, I never really like stuck to anything. I just was a nerd that played video games. I was like the top anime craze of the 90s. Everybody only drew anime characters and I refused. I was like, I'm gonna draw beautiful butterflies. I, I have better things to do. I have better things to do. My name is Bear. F your anime. Yeah, it's gonna cook down, don't worry. Don't worry. It might take more than two minutes because the, the burner's been off. If you anime, don't have any time for this. Originally this recipe called for frozen spinach. I get why. Cause it would be a lot more like, I don't know, time less time consuming. Nice! Fuck Lorietta. She's she's a bitch. Um by the way, I I I was actually really surprised last night I raided Darius because I saw he's online and he has a stream a long time he was moving and I'm like I could raid Darius. I like walking the stream. I don't know I kinda went to sleep and kinda doing other stuff. I don't know if he ever beat the the, the final boss. But I was like, oh cool. Neat. Um I haven't seen him in a real long time. I think it's been like three or four months since he last streamed. Um, also, what the- Yo, chat, what do you feel about the Pokemon turned into motorcycles? 
I don't like it. I don't like any of this new Pokemon stuff. It kind of looks dumb. And like all the the super like the the the, the uh, gimmick for this Pokemon is uh, you put chandeliers on your head. You beat the lion guy, then it fell asleep. Yeah, you got to the other guy that you can get to. Got chandeliers, yo. It's just like I don't know. They still sell the two versions. I don't even think there's anything different between the two versions of Pokemon. Like, why would you buy both for sixty dollars each? Like, it doesn't even have unique Pokemon anymore. You can get them all. It doesn't matter. Just these darn collectors want to buy both versions because they'll know that they'll sell it to them and they'll buy it it's gone too far man I mean, I mean I don't know if chat really wanted me to play it I'll play Pokemon but I don't know man it just don't look good at all to be honest book died with me when they introduced a Pokemon that was just Jingle Keys or you remember the one that's a trash bag Here's one that's a trash bag, and they have like um, an ice cream cone. Um, what was the other weird ones? It's just like, what? What are you thinking, Pokemon? What do you? What are you thinking? What? Why? Why are you doing this? Oh, it smells so good. Um, ones that just sludge. Yeah, the first one. I got the mucks or a bowl. No, but a washing machine? What's it? Alright, All right, I'm gonna Google it. What are the... What are the dumbest Pokemon designs? So I don't have to look for it. Um... Fifteen worst designed Pokemon of all time. There's a cogs. There, there's a guy that are cogs. Just Magmite, but it, it's a cog. Um, there's a vanilla flying ice cream. Love disc is just a heart. Um, Mantarek is just an electric dog. Um. The Denny is like a mouse that's electric, but it's not Pikachu. Somehow. Voltorb is just a Pokeball. Greedent is like, uh, what is it? What's that, that beaver Pokemon? But it, it's a hamster. It kind of just... Or it's a rat. It's kind of like a raticate. It's it's more like a ball. Yeah, Beedoof is the best, but it's like a Beedoof and, and a raticate had a baby, and then we got a greedent. Um, Dunsparce is a butt plug. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure Dunsparce is a butt plug. Squirrel, but it kind of looks like a rat. Um. Hey, but uh, I almost called you, but you're now bush cheese. How does it feel? Um, how you doing? Oh yeah, look at it! It's reduced to like nothing. We had like a whole pot of uh, spinach, and now it's nothing. Nice. 
Um, sour cheese. <laughs> Feels wet and beefy. Slightly sweaty. You take a bath for some reason. Every Pokemon generation's worst design ranked. No, I love Whopper. No, come on. No, how dare you? Uh, there's a Pokemon in generation the seven that's literally just a pile of sand with a, a shovel in it. And there's L's Q, that's Generation 8, that's a penguin, but his head is an ice cube. Um, yeah, yeah. Trubbish, the, the just garbage bag. Um. Yeah, there's, there's some dumb freaking Pokemon, I agree. Check out this garbage bag. All right, that looks good. We got this cooked down. Most of the moisture is removed. I don't want it to be too juicy because it'll cause some issues in the in the bread. All right, so that looks good enough. We're gonna take that out of here. They have an alphabet. Yeah, there was an alphabet Pokemon too, right? That was a thing. I'm just gonna whip this down because I don't want all this uh, spinach on my counter. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we're gonna put this out into a bowl. We're gonna have to cool this down because we also don't want the feta to melt and, and become just wet. Um, there we go. Fish. Are these bad bowls over here? All right, so I'm gonna dice up a tomato and we're also going to add um, the feta in the second. Well, that's a feta to kind of cool down. But that's for lore. Freaking lore. Alright, so we got the ground lamb, spices, garlic, onion, spinach. It's, it's, it's a wet mess. That's alright though. This is, it's all about the outside, not the inside. It's a filling. Okay? It's hot. Hot paints. Um, eat buddy. So we're gonna do. It's physically impossible to time yourself out. This is true. It's actually impossible. Um. But anyway, we're gonna add the feta, the green onions, and the parsley and the mint later with the chopped tomato. So we actually don't need to mix it in. That's fine. We're gonna make uh, bowl stations. Mm-hmm. All the things in individual bowls. Because we do that. Or do we want to? Maybe I'll just use a plate. I'll put all this stuff in a plate. Mm -hmm. Hey, PG. Bowl? Are you doing... Alright. Yeah, I can time them out. But I, I'm lazy. I don't know. Dice up the tomato. We're gonna get all the salad stuff ready too. Um, let's see, what do we want? Um, tomatoes, some green onion, parsley, and cilantro. I'm gonna use up my old parsley and cilantro. They don't look great, but that's fine because I'm going to net be on the outside, it's on the inside that counts. You know? You know what I mean? 
because yeah, I can use up some slightly wilted stuff because you know it's fine. Who cares? I don't. Um. Anyway. Yeah, mods can't be in mods. You can't. You can't do it. It's impossible. It's because we don't want to start the great mod war. the great mod war to start again. Nobody wants that. I am infallible. It says bear. Alright, let's uh, I'll give it a little squeeze. Also clean off my counter. Oh god, the Reuben pizza! Jesus. Oh no, bringing that back. Oh god. So, I did, I forgot, I got completely derailed because Gary started chucking chickens. I have a new pizza crime here, guys. Um, so there's a new... Like, I gotta find the restaurant so I can have pictures to show you. Um, so it's New York... I don't, I don't think it's authentic New York pizza because it's way too thick. But... So, the pizza itself is literally a large pizza stretched out to be a pizza slice. It's a pizza slice, but, but stretched into a pizza slice shape, you know? It's huge. Um, I gotta find it. Gary, where's this goddamn video if, you, if you're available? Um, I need to find it. Oh, that's good. That's good meats. Mm. Uh, let's see. Buffalo chicken fries. That sounds good. I'd eat that. I mean, I eat everything, but I'd eat that. Breaking news, there's a Prey movie currently 100% fresh reviews. Oh, the Predator movie looks good, maybe. Hmm. It's gonna be the best movie ever. It's not in theaters, you, you have to just like uh, rent it. Apparently the last movie did, did so bad that they were like, no theaters. Um, so go for it. I guess it's available now. Um, made ground beef meatballs with gravy with mushrooms, garlic shrooms, Worcesters, Worcesters. Beef grill they served in school. I mean, meatballs are good. I didn't have beef grill with rice. That's not a thing. I remember they just had this rectangle pizzas on taco day. We got a like, chicken patty. Um, what else do they have? It's all chicken patty day. At least that's edible. I got the salad a bunch. I got the yogurt and a salad for a uh, for lunch a bunch because I, I didn't like the food they had um no i haven't seen it all right so we need to uh, have a cup of chopped parsley i also have cilantro it was like might as well just add it because i have it it's it's old in my uh you know, in my fridge we're gonna toss it anyway so i'm gonna use up some leftover uh, herbs Let's chop it up. It's okay if it has a little bit of stem, but not the big parts. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, we measure about half a cup each of cilantro or parsley or mixture of both. Um, mint. And um, tomatoes. This is such a thing as a toast sandwich. This is toast. 
Toast the bread, but need more bread. Avoid. Welcome. And also, like, dude, um... I know people were very upset, but I'll say it's super authentic British cuisine. Uh, I made Heinz bean pizza from scratch. I'll never forget how great it was. It was, it was pretty, pretty great. I made the beans fresh and uh, with sauce, a little bit of, of cheese, and uh, I made stuffed crust. Oh. I'll slice tomatoes. It's great. I'd make it again. Honestly, I'd like to make it again. I was thinking about it the other day and like, huh, that was a great recipe. You know? Hmm. I liked it. I mean I could have bought a bunch of cans of Heinz beans, but but I learned how to make it. It actually was not that hard to make it. Just a little time consuming for the bean part, but not bad. You know? Half a cup of cilantro. Number one. Here, we don't need any more of this. It's kind of, what's in the stuffed crust? Uh, mozzarella sticks. Ooh. Mozzarella sticks. They were great. Oh man, classic. I, so every year, I, I, I haven't had a lot of people volunteering recipes. Um, at the end of the year, toward the end, like, like before, the week before I go on break for the holidays, I usually do the best of Tilly. Um, that's always a good time. I try to look through the stuff that I made that year and, and I always take suggestions. Not many people take me up on that. I have bad suggestions, that's fine. You know, so, sometimes we can, we can turn around and maybe, uh, you know, make it better, perhaps. Also, I gotta re lube up my board. I'm not looking forward to it. But yeah, it looks like a little rough here. It's gonna dry out. All this moisture is, is removing the, uh, the oil on it. Uh, let me just use a small knife. This is silly. All right, so we're gonna slice this, and then go over and chop it again. Yeah, this, some of this is the leftover herbs and stuff in my, uh, my fridge. Not exactly the best looking, but it's all right. I'm gonna chop it up nice and fine. I'm gonna chop this bad boy up. Tiny little pieces. Um, but yeah, I always like uh, suggestions. Dude, I don't know what to make half the time anymore. I always dig deep. I was like, you know, what have people been talking about this week? Uh, last week, people were talking about pancakes. And I'm like, I'm gonna make some pancakes. Um. I don't think if there's anything that, that people were talking about this week. Other than the horrible food crimes Gary's been, been showing me. Like the freaking Reuben pizza. I'm not gonna make the Reuben from scratch. Like, I'm not gonna make corned beef. Oh, I could. I don't either. Yeah. I just don't know what to make anymore. I've made so many things. There's 1,500 plus recipes on my blog. And that's a lot. That's a lot. I don't know what to make anymore. Um. Uh. Yeah, Nigerian food is, is interesting. Um, I like to look for certain cuisines I don't really make a lot of. Like, like I really like uh, everything that I've tried the Turkish food I like. Um, so far. So far. Um. I don't see if there's anything I don't like yet. So it's only a matter of time, right? Uh, we're gonna chop up some tomato. I'm gonna make this nice. Oh, you know what? Should I make this big of a tomato? Is that? I'm thinking about the the equivalents. This looks about the same size. Not. Oh yeah, we need to sharpen this bad boy. That's all right. All right, so I'm just gonna slice it like this and make it easier to cut. It's easier to cut to the. Uh, inside part. The skin is the hard part that dulls your knife. Um, mm-hmm. Let's chop it up. Small, go over it again. Chop it up again. Because this is going to be on the inside. It don't matter. It don't matter what this looks like, to be honest. just want to have even 
even amount of uh, ingredients all in this food. Um, let's go, chop, chop. So what time is it? I don't have my watch on. What time is it? It's currently 2.46. Yeah, we're gonna be probably making these in about a couple minutes. Um, you have links in the chat. Yeah, I was, I was, uh, I'm just gonna go over it like this. We need, we don't need, like, exact pieces or anything. We just need it to be broken down a bit. I'm just like, look, I don't have to do anything crazy. Yeah, let's chop it up all rough, like. Um, yeah. Hey, Samro. <laughs> that's, that's, a good, uh, that's a good quote. Also, I forgot, I, I did not update my, my quotes list and my commands list. All right, it's good enough, nice and chopped up. Um, get that over there, there, and what's the other thing we need? Feta, uh, we're gonna just crumble up a half a cup of crumble feta, like measure the feta after you crumble it. And them was the deals. All right, so wipe out. I might, I'm gonna wipe down this counter because it's a hot mess. I don't really want my feta getting wet. Um. All right, so ba ba da ba. A giant block of feta. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna wipe my eyes off. Oh my god, those green eyes fuck me up, man. Whew. All right, we're back. Coming back over here. So I'm gonna take this chunk of feta. I don't have any gum, I'm sorry. Oh, it's a little moist on the bottom. It's all right though. Um, open mouth chew gum. Oh, but if people hate that. Gargle some ketchup. I mean, I've heard that, so that's a straight. Mm-hmm. All right, crumble me some feta. Sorry, feta. Don't look. Don't look at it. Don't look at the feta. All right, this is about we need. All right, equal parts. It's it's pretty close. Let me just eat this. It's mine. Mm. I'm good. Yes. Seal this bad boy up. Doesn't really seal, but that's fine. I'm fine. All right, it's good. Hey, haha -ha dogs. Cowman, uh, guy Todd. Thai fried chicken cutlet, like katsu, but tasty. Hainan, Hainan chicken's great. Um, poached chicken. Mm hmm. Oh, oh yeah, that, I mean, you're, you're not wrong, um, cheese. Alright. I have the assortment of feeling. Ready to go. Um, I need to wipe down the counter because we're gonna put the uh, the dough on this. We can't have this wet. Okay. Feelings on. We don't want our dough to get wet. That's for sure. Uh, we need to roll out a twelve by ten rectangle. Also, we gotta we can make the uh, oh the salad too. I got the salad ready. Hold up. Might as well do this now, because we're going to have to do this anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is does have yogurt. If you want the recipe, go get it. It's right there. It has yogurt. Alright, so we need a cup of chopped tomatoes. So I'm not going to make the full recipe. We'll use about, I don't know, this is about half a cup. Half a cup of tomatoes. Eighth of a cup of chopped cucumber. One onion. I'm gonna dice up. Half an onion, really. Any herbs and stuff we'll leave out. 
charge $13 for hot on chicken, which is like two chicken thighs. Oof. Yeah, I like the ginger soybean sauce shouldn't be that complicated. Uh, sumac, parsley, uh, onion, olives, lemon, vinegar, olive oil, pomegranate, molasses. Oh, heck yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, I got that pomegranate I totally forgot about. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was going to garnish with some pomegranate. It was actually on sale for once. I was pretty hyped about that. I'm gonna use some rice wine vinegar because it'd probably go well with that. Yeah, I forgot I had a pomegranate. I saw so one person made this pomegranate. Um, they cut the uh, top out like a square and then cut along the membrane. Or the, it's technically the bottom out. Um, cut out the membrane and separated it. It was actually pretty cool looking. I was impressed. I don't know, it's pomegranate season. But that is more like a winter fruit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. Mm, maybe it's okay. I hope it's okay. Oh, it's a little sketchy. Mm -hmm. Pomegranate. Um, lemon, some olives. I don't know where I put my parsley. I do with my parsley. So here. Oh, there's my mint too. Sweet. All right. That's good. And lemon. Some olives. I don't know if you like these green olives, but you're gonna have to just deal, I guess. On sale because it's rotting inside. Maybe. See what's inside of it. Never know. On sale, please buy so it's not complete loss. Thank you. And yo, thank you for that follow all good. Get your mouth bottle up, so squad, snip snip. All the just three. I almost got everything ready. I gotta wait for that that fill in the cool anyway. Can't put that right away into the uh oh, get it. Look here. Um we'll see. Looks questionable, but maybe the, the outside's ugly. We'll find out. Well, yeah, I guess. No. That is not. This is the pomegranate. This is the onion. Don't worry. Yeah, this. Halo and the, the freaking. This is a cucumber! Did you wait till I see my rolling pin? Ow! My nail bent backwards. Um, I hate that shit. Get off here. It is so hard to get this plastic off the goddamn cucumber. Did you know that? No, you didn't. Get out of there. It tight. There you go. Alright. Whew. Be home chicken hug. Let's go. Thank you. Oh shit, my cable. Sucked on the chicken. Get that over here. Come back. All right, so anyway. Anyway, over here. Boy, the trees. All right, so let's dry off all these stuffs. Also clean your vegetables and stuff, man. Okay, just clean 
no. At least wipe it out. Uh, the these don't have the coating, by the way. That these uh, these cucumbers, uh, where they in the plastic, they don't seal it with wax, so that's pretty sweet. Um, all right. So, oh yeah, throw the. Did I get green bell pepper? <gasps> I wonder if we didn't, because I remember they didn't have any of this. Oh, we got one. I was like, wait a second. I don't remember. Um. BDJ, thank you for the host. Welcome back, sir. Hello. We're making a salad so we could just put it in the fridge and let it hang out in there while we uh, make the gozleme. Uh, just getting that all situated. Also, yeah, to garnish this with a little bit of pomegranate, maybe it'll be good. I don't know, we'll see. So we need to chop up about one of these little Roma tomatoes. We're just gonna make it simple. I'm gonna use my better knife for this. My utility knife. Gonna chop it up. Small little chunkies. I'll probably have to go too hard on it, you know? Um, Cause we're doing like half the recipe really. It does tear into my board though. I don't like that. But just to make this a little easier on me. You know, doing that thing. Uh, by the way, uh, today after we finish cooking, which I imagine is gonna be around 3.30ish, um, and eat and all that, take pictures. Uh, I was thinking uh, we're gonna play some Quarry. The Quarry is a game that came out a while ago and I decided not to play it right away. Uh, it was has some bugginess and, and all and I was like, you know what? You know, maybe, uh, maybe we'll play it now. Apparently the co-op is pretty awful, so you're not gonna bother with that. Um, but, you know, should be a good time, right? In theory. Um, play Cory. What's that? Uh, but also, Cor Cory. Oh, and everyone was playing it all at once. And I'm like, yeah. Everybody's playing Mortuary Assistant as well. Why are you? I know there's not a whole lot of games coming out, but Jesus, give, give some scraps for the other smaller baby streamers. Come on. Everybody plays the games all at the same time because there's nothing coming out at, at the once. Um, Come on. Just say it. Baby streamers just want to play a game that not everybody else is playing. Come on. Um, Multiverse the Choreo. Um, yeah, I started about yesterday. Dude, nothing was fucking working. I was like, I don't want to do this. I got 30 minutes to play games. And everything is broken. I was like... I just want to play some. I was so mad. I was like, fuck this shit. I just want to play a game. I want to just beat up little kids and make them cry. Come on. I just wanted to play. I was like, fuck it. Um, <laughs> to chop it up like this, this uh, tomatoes as well. It's kind of like the same kind of size. Um. We only need about an eighth of a cup, though. It's not very much, but that's fine. Um, you could also, if you want to, it rolled in my cilantro. Gosh, it's fine. Um, I just wanted to play. Damn it. Good. Mmm. Very good. That's good, good cucumber, buddy. I really need a little bit more. I'm just gonna try to get uh, equal parts of each ingredient.
I just like cucumber. Is that so wrong? Oh god, no. Fuck that shit. Gah! Oh my god, the crypto bros will be all over that. Um, there's a couple people, like, um, uh, Adam Ragusio is freaking great. Um, uh, that, that one, what, that one recommendation from, uh, Fire Drake, the, the, um, uh, uh, Chinese cooking demystified? Yeah, uh, Kenji's good. Um, Adam Lagrouge, blah, blah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just saying, there's a lot of good shit. Uh, Kenji's recipes are a little complicated. Over -com complicated a little bit. Uh, there was this French chef kind of thing that I was watching too once in a while. It's a little too, too, I don't know, I wouldn't be like rude or anything, but a little too uh, fussy for me. A little too fussy. Um, I don't want to do that. So. I mean, um. Gary hates cucumbers, by the way. I don't know what's with that. He's lost. I like cucumbers. Mm. Yeah, I've I've looked at like a Serious East still has a lot of like Kenji's recipes. Um, it, it's kind of funny that he left that and he's promoting his book on there. <laughs> uh, this is pretty pretty funny. I mean. It was good for them to, to leave, but <laughs> uh, it's, it's kind of funny that uh, it has to be like this. Um, yeah, some of those recipes are a bit much. Um, yeah, Chef John is pretty good. I know some people really don't like his voice of how he talks, but he's alright. I don't, it doesn't bother me. Um, it seems like a real nice dude. Alright, I'm gonna cut off the tips. I'm gonna eat it. We're gonna snack on that. See? The voice adds character. I know. He probably doesn't normally talk like that. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest that um, a lot of times I look at Serious Eats and it helps with the inspiration. Dude, I'm so sad though. They took down some of those recipes. I'm never going to find them again. Um, I'm never going to find them ever, ever again. It makes me sad. Some of the links are broken. I'm like, I really want to make that. And I don't know where it went. But it's gone. It's gone, man. Does anybody else like I like I like raw veggies like this? It's good. Come on. I'm just snacking on the tips because they're annoying to cut. Okay. Hmm. Like I don't know if it got taken down because like, you know, they didn't have the rights to it anymore. I don't know what? Yeah, some of the links broke. Sadly. 
oh man when they they, they had that new company take over the, the the layout's so bad it's so bad now i hate it but it's it's so hard to search for shit oh god i hate it like i i I try to find new recipes, and I, I do find a lot of recipes through series, or at least find a thing that I haven't heard about. And I, I look more into it. Um, oh man, searching so bad. So bad. <sighs> so bad. I'm gonna add a little bit more tomato, maybe. Maybe it'll be okay. Actually, it's alright. It's okay. Um, all right, so we have that, we have the tomato, we have the cucumber, we have the pepper. Uh, we're gonna dice up. What the fuck did they do to serious seeds? They really fucked it up. You just noticed? Did you not be there in a while? They really fucked it up. It's, it's really bad now. Why? They optimized their stuff for like, you know, SEO and stuff, but oh my god, it's... Fuck! Yeah, it is to be decent! Oh. I don't know. What did they do to my boy? Also, I've been in the habit of rinsing off my onion because I've noticed that they're kind of gross. Rinse my onions. It's fine. I heard Brad was being called out for giving people botulism? What? Hold on a sec. Yeah, the Bon Appetit saga is pretty ridiculous, too. Y'all hear. Wait. Talking about botulism. Do you all hear about that that pink sauce stuff that that lady's probably gonna get sued to oblivion? His fermentation wasn't actually safe. Wow. It's giving people botulism. Um, the pink sauce is apparently it has dairy in it and it's not refrigerated it's not like s sealed in a way that keeps it from going bad mm -hmm. yep like uh with like stuff that has uh, like milk and stuff can't you make that so it's it'll be shelf stable like 